Hello everybody, in this video we're going to do something a little different. Uh, we have enough knowledge of constructions and enough knowledge of geometry to be able to put some pieces together and figure out some new constructions. Specifically, we're going to look at how to construct parallel lines. And in the scenario where I'm given a line and a point not on the line, and I want to construct the line that is parallel to the original line that specifically goes through point A. And the math facts and constructions I'm going to use in this construction have to deal with things that are perpendicular. So I know from earlier in the year that if I have three lines that are coplanar, line one, line two, and line three, and if line one is perpendicular to line three, and line two is perpendicular to line three, that means line one and line two have to be parallel to each other. Um, so I'm gonna use that fact to do this construction. So now I have to remember how to construct things that are perpendicular. All right, so I have a construction for uh, uh, creating a perpendicular line uh, that is uh, perpendicular to a given line, line one, through point A, and that's what I'm gonna do. I want this line here, okay? So I have to put my point on, my compass point on A, and I need to swing an arc, right? And then I'm gonna use the intersection of that arc and the line to swing two arcs below point A, and where they intersect is going to be the point that I need for my construction. Because remember, I need two points for a line. And so when I connect A with this point down here, I should have my perpendicular, okay? I'm gonna make it a little bit longer. Um, I'm not gonna have the line stop at point A. I'm going to extend past it because I need to do another construction, okay? So now I have this line here, line two that I know is perpendicular to line one, and it goes through point A. So now what I need is I need to construct a line that is perpendicular to line two that goes through point A. And one way to do that is uh, construction is to put your compass point on A and then you're gonna kind of make a, find two endpoints of a line segment where A is, whoopsie, A is the, is the midpoint. So I have that arc there and that there. So these two points here and here create a line segment where A is the midpoint, okay? And then I'm gonna use the fact that uh, if I can, the perpendicular bisector, if there's another point on the perpendicular bisector, it's gonna be equidistant from the two endpoints of the line segment. So I'm going to increase the radius and then I'm gonna strike an arc from that endpoint and then strike another arc from the other end point. And I know that this new point here is equidistant from those two points that I constructed, which means it has to be on the perpendicular bisector, of which A is also on the perpendicular bisector. And so now I just have to connect these two points, shrink, and then I get another perpendicular, right? So I have two lines perpendicular to the same line. They're all coplanar which means line one is parallel to line three.